All right. So this is this is this is a brother question, right? It's not a business question. It's a brother question. It's kind of sort of it has to do with you know raising the boys, and you know I'm starting to see like with with H. He's kind of sort of graduating into a. He's graduating into a place where he starts to ask. He's asking me why. Versus Xander, I say Xander do something. He says, "Okay, Daddy." You know, he don't really ask why. But H, on the other hand, like if I ask him to do something, he'll he'll say, "Okay, Dad." So I'm noticing that with 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 H, I'm out of that daddy phase mm -hmm. right I'm still in daddy phase with Xander Xander's all this is my daddy but H is like okay dad and I'm trying to understand like that transition between yeah. Xander and H like what like what's going on there because I'm starting to see that my relationship with H is changing so you know you being that you already have, you know, boys that are, that you've raised already, what was the difference? Like, what, like with those phases you went through with your with your boys, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah. I'm trying to understand that phase that I'm going through. Well, let me see how I best explain this. I, I, I know where you're coming from. I know I know what you're saying, but you know, uh, there's, <clears throat> there's some things that we, you, you know, we always look for like the manual. Right. Right. The, the, the male to the man manual. How, how to be a perfect father. You know, how to be a perfect man in our boy's life. Right. Because our boys eventually going to be a male and a man. We want them to have some guidance. Right, right. Right. Uh, well, I can say what I'm about to say, but even like the Bible has words that don't change, but we continue to evolve. Correct. Why? How, how, how is that possible? Like if, if the Bible's covered everything, then why am I so much lacking all the time? You feel me? When I go in there, I try to find like why I'm not this, why are people calling me this? What's missing? Something's always missing for me to go back to the Bible. And then I don't really understand it. So, you know, I don't really find the answers. And the reason why is because, like, we don't have the coordinates or the guidance of the coordinates of the kingdom, the GPS to the Bible. Like, when I go in there, can it just sum up through all of the wisdom of the Bible? Can it just give me the answer versus Google? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Right. I, I, I got to go in there and find, you know, how he answer. Right. Not just answer for everybody. Because it don't work that way. It really don't. Similarities, yes. But your son is way DNA different than any other boy on the planet. That's how significant this is. Any other boy on the planet. Okay. Right. So how am I going to the Bible and find my son in there? You see? Right. Yeah. And that, that's kind of weird. So, but I can tell you what's in the Bible, that structure, like a set of principles. It's like going to school when you, you know, you go to school, you go through, in high school, you go through freshman, mm -hmm. sophomore, mm -hmm. junior, senior. So I started thinking like, man, I feel like I skipped sophomore <laughs> in my son's life, you know? <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? Like yeah. I went there, but then, you know, I didn't. You know, or time tells everything. Time tells everything in the truth, in the truth, right? Mm -hmm. The truth. It'll hurt you or set you free. So what I started thinking about myself is, you know, I graduated from freshman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good or bad grades, still went software. Right. Went up. Benchmarks. What I needed to do in the middle is kind of like 
Um, what is it? What is it when you hit a benchmark and you have uh, before you reach your goals? It's uh, I'll like, figure it out. What? Reflect. No, it's, it's not. It's a word. It, these are words, uh -huh, okay. and these words it utilize as cliches because the American dream, all these things. So when you talk about, you know, being daddy to Xander, mm -hmm. but then you, 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 you're a different word. You know, they don't call you Howie. Right. So H got a little older and all of a sudden daddy went away and automatically, you didn't say call me dad. He started calling you dad. And I started looking at this kind of shit, man. This shit was like, I got some because I'm I'm kind of feeling it out, and and I kind of was you know confused too because, you know, in, in, in my my oldest children's life, I was there. They call me daddy. Mm -hmm. But then my son Nicholas went from daddy to pops. I'm like, whoa whoa whoa. Why don't he call me dad? What ha what, what what happened from daddy and he went to pops? Then he had a stepdad. I'm like, wait a minute, this shit is not. Cr I need to go in there and find out, like, the solution. I need to find the answers to this kind of stuff. Right. Then you get to asking people, and they don't understand it from that perspective because this shit is deep. How this work, right? Mm -hmm. And it default to that. When you spend the time, you automatically graduate, right? Right. Like they say, when the teacher, when the student ready, teacher appear. Well, when you spend time with your son. And he's calling you daddy. That's because your ass is around, spending time. You could be in the house, okay? And he might not be calling you. He might be calling little Petey. Right. Right? More than he even call your name. Or he's in favor of what they say, oh, he's a mama's boy. No, he's not. This mama's there more time than daddy is. So he's mommy versus daddy all the time. Daddy gone, especially in the black community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the boy don't get a chance to say daddy. So therefore, he's got a limiter on him. And he got a superficial side of him, man. That he don't, under, he don't come to understand how to be a, a boy. Because a boy needs the word daddy to follow. You mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. okay. Then when he comes from a boy, you know, then he goes to the next level. What's after boy? He become a what? His infant boy. Then he becomes what? A young man. A young man. A young man is by default because of his age of time. When well, he's spending the time, right? Mm -hmm. So when he's a young man, what does he call his father now? Dad. Dad. See the, So he never become a young man. He 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 become the word. Like I get the job, VP, but now I got to work the job. Right. I worked up to get the badge, but now I got to retain it. Is what I'm saying. I can't get president. I don't want to jump from here to here because right. you'll fall. So my point is, in, 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 our, in black minorities, we was never taught this shit because there's no formula to this, but I guarantee you the word exists for somebody that's done it. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a man right now in everybody's life that we always want to be like because we get around these kids and these kids are like, man, they got stories, man. They got history. They got inheritance because of them words. Daddy, dad, pops, father. See? You graduate each one. Your, your, your child call you that. You don't call yourself that. You can call yourself his daddy if you want to or his dad if you want to. He'd be like, uh-uh. Nigga, you want to put the time in for you to replace my stepdad. Cause stepdad was there. No, no, no. Blood is sticking, well, you know, in water. No, it's not bullshit. It's who put the time in. Deserves the, the you know, the badge. Right. Right? But some people can steal the badge, man. You know, kind of fake it till you make it. Mess it up till you get it right. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at these verticals, man. Daddy. Right here is the time. That goes together. Called dad. There goes the time. You don't put the time in and that's lapsed. This is the time when another man come in the house. When mommy meets another man right here, boop, it claps on that too. That's step dad. He stepped in to be dad. That's how it worked. And now he putting the time step in. Dad. Step dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he stepped in in the dad role. Wow. I never thought about it like that. Hell yeah, me either.
until like a week ago, I'm 55 years old. Nobody told me that shit. Had I known that from my vertical, right? right I would have stuck the fuck around. I didn't know. I didn't know you You can't go back. It's like rerun. You, you, you can go back, mm -hmm. you know. You, you can go back, but you're not going to go back and erase the fact that you failed or you didn't do right. That's going to still be there. You can go back to your child's life and try to, hey, man, get the hell out of my family's life. But you still going to come in as stepdad. You ain't going to come in and be the original dad that you think you just stepped out on. You come and be stepdad. And then the kids be like, hey, when they got this problem, right? Mm -hmm. They ain't come to you about it. You're under the roof. They're going to call that other dude. I hope you don't get offended. Uh, is this you wasn't around during the time? So I got to talk to my dad about this situation. Man, you want to... <laughs> Man, you be like, <laughs> yeah. Come here, little. <laughs> Me and your mother go way back. Yeah. I don't give a damn. <laughs> the badge don't belong to you, who you think you are. You now, now you can come back and be pops, because that you know we just like boys. Right. That's like pops. So when you daddy, dad in your ch your son's life, pops. And you father, when he move out, when he move out on his own, because when he did that last year, you know, mm -hmm. he's like, Pops, can I talk to you about something? You know, I ain't hear your little thing, you know, I got to talk to you about it. See, <laughs> see, like your best friend. Right. He'd be like, oh, man, that ain't me. That's your uncle. Your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your stepdad. <laughs> hey, that's stepdad, yeah, you know. Yeah. Now, fruit don't fall, fall from the tree, but listen, it's guidance. It's guidance. It's a spiritual vertical. If you think about it, you know. I never thought about it. Like that. But if you think about it, if you think about it seriously, you know. And then you have coaches that appear to be a dad, to be a pops or be a father figure. That's different. Mm -hmm. But with the father, the man of that child, boy or girl, because it's still daddy, dad from little girl too. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Mom is the same too. What what did both child call it mom? When mommy. For, mommy, then what? Mom. Mm -hmm. or, or, or mama. Or mama. And then mom. Mom. That's it, pops. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Or what? And then this mother. My, this is my mother. They, nobody told me that shit. Had I known both ways as a kid, I said, you know, she had me at 15 years old. I'm like, she like my sister. Where did that fit in? Because the kind of time she was spending with me. So if we can understand this definition of what a daddy is. What a definition that. We ain't taught that shit in school, man. We taught two plus two is four. Man, I don't know what all that mean, man. Parenting and parent. You can have one person playing parenting, you know? Yeah. But that's not right by the kid, though, is what I'm saying. Right. You know, so if we can get all these, I'm going to say it like it is, fucked up ass words, they out of order. It's like A, C, B, F, Z in our lives. And this ain't where you minority, black, white, pink, Mexican, whatever. It's, it's the minority don't understand this shit. So if you look at the vertical of, of, of the rich people, wealthy people, they go through these damn verticals. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? They out fishing and shit. Or, you know, you know, they do for the most part. And, 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 and in that one, 5%, 10%, this all makes and model, man. Is it this black? Is it, you can you can look at your friends. Well, they had their daddy the entire life. The entire life. It was daddy. You can listen to your friends call them dad, pops. But the fucked up thing about it is this. When your son go to school and he get on a click, he's out the click because you know what happens? That click is talking about the, the pops in high school. Right. But your son ain't got no pop story because that motherfucker done left. He got a daddy and a dad story, but he ain't got no pop story. He out. He out. Or he can come up with something fictitious to stick in there and fake it like he had it. And I told you, I don't like fake people. What's the other word? Phony. Phoniness. See? Phony. And he might have to sabotage his relationship because now he being phony. Yeah, my pops, man, he was around. And you say this shit long enough, you'll start to come to believe that shit. And that shit wasn't even true. 
even if we, your boy was like, man, what, 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 what was that story, bro? Your pops wasn't even around. Cause why? Cause my pops around, bro. You you acting. You you telling my story to them. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We can partner up on my pops, but you really ain't got no pops, bro. So you need to stop being phony. Oh man, you know fuck what you talking about. Bah, 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 bah. All this shit go down, man. And I'm thinking like, oh shit, I didn't destroy my son's life. Yeah, I man, I, I, I just do it on my own side. I don't, I don't like talking about people other story. I talk about my shit when I talk. I don't, I don't go third party, reflect on somebody else's judgment. I do my own shit. This shit I'm talking about right now is me as a kid and me as a man. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And in order to be a full man, I got to have these badges. And I'm thinking like, damn, hold on a minute. How can I get this? If I Sometimes, man, I have a boy. I don't really feel like a completed man. I done some completed shit. Mm -hmm. I done some big shit in life, but it's not as big as being there for my son that's 30 something years old and he got daddy in with the pops. I can't get the dad back, man. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like, God damn, please give me a second chance of that shit. It put me in fucking tears when I'm talking about this kind of shit because it's something you can't touch. You can't get it back. It's like, it's almost like death. Because I've had that with grandma, you know, I, I, it's avoided areas like you don't get a second chance. Now, now you can learn to be a better pops while you're doing it. Yeah. And that's what you do. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting more time in that pops versus being an idiot or ignorance and be like, wow, well, well, shit. Well, it's me since I ain't never going to be his dad. Fuck the pop. No. This shit is affecting him, not you. Right. He's going to be left with this shit. You see, now I'm better coaching them because I could be a good coach as pop. I could coach the dad part, but I never will get the title because that's where it is. And you know, when people were in the world, they say, you know, 2000, I won the championship. 2002, I won. What happened in 2001? Oh, yeah, I lost that one. But that's a, that, that ain't failure. That's feedback. You just learn how to bet. That's why you won 2002. So, mm -hmm. pops, I could still win the championship. But if I ain't there, some other motherfucker going to be there. All right, my friends, man, I just give me I get so emotional. The, somebody going to be there that he going to call Pops. I refuse to be an idiot. Mm. That's failure, man. Failure is when you obviously recognize the shit you done done is a mistake, but don't let it be an accident. Don't do it twice. Knowing damn well you learn. You know, that mama said ignoramus. You mm -hmm. ignorant, you bliss. And for me, man, I like to always, I'm always for, you know, I'm always optimistic, but I'm fair with myself too, because I'm, I'm in the flesh. I, I'm optimistic, but I got to be realistic too. You know, I got to know that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fast learner too. Once God sent it to me, man, it's an aha moment. Like, oh, I'm like that shit is so simple, but it's just not easy because we don't get it. Then nobody open up a book on how to be a, a parent a true parent definition is to have all three, all four. Daddy, dad, that's a parent. I'm like, oh shit. That ain't in no book, man, I'm telling you. It's not in a book. <laughs> Cause I you, you, you know what, I asked the old boy, you know, mom read Bible, front, back, cover, but, 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 it's still this big. Mm -hmm. She read front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, middle, 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 still that big. Only reason why that get that big, cause she buy other books and stick them in there. <laughs> Mom, they ain't no bomb no more. <laughs> That's a little testimony. <laughs> Mom's a boy. You still stupid. But what we like when some you, you guys a lot of cliches out there. Be like your father. Wow. Like, wow. So you don't want no originality. It's a lot easier to say be like somebody else. It's like a lot of shit, man, I'm learning just off these words, man. Like, think outside the box. I, what the hell does that mean? I question that shit when people tell me. I get pastors call me all day. Bitches call me. You you should do this. You can't go straight to God. You you can't say you are you God junior. You can't, you can't, you can't. You got what I need. You got, you got, you got what I need, you know. Uh, you, you know, I'm going to show you something, man. And, and, and all this shit makes sense. When you become a man in life, you don't get the real shit. They give you this fraudulent shit, the bullshit. Okay. So, I'll give you one stupid one. Okay. 
I don't care how much money. I'm going to show you something that they don't say, and I'm going to bring it out today, and I don't say it right now. If you see why, why do, why do, why, why we say this is a man's world? Because the power of this damn thing, right? Which is not backed by nothing. They don't want to believe I tell them you nothing. Know. But if I look at this, you can't show me one of them bills in there that got a woman face on it. Man's world. You can't show me one of these faces is a woman. Right. On any of the currency. Any of it. Right. That's why. But when this shit go away and it's cashless, you want to see what happened to man's world go away like this. Women, pff, women always been here. We bring them down because of this. You feel what I'm saying? Fight wars, with it, whatever. Mm -hmm. All because what this can do. Killing kids and all that kind of shit, man. This is what make you a drug dealer. Is we get this. Because what is it when you, you pass over the drug, you'll get this. You just nothing. Zero. So if you take the cash out, and that's what God's doing. It ain't nothing what people reading about. Oh, there's going to be like one world order and all that shit. You kidding me? This is God's earth before it was a world. You feel what I'm saying? It's sort of strong. So I, <coughs> I sit around <coughs> and I study. Religion is words. The numbers and the time is the principle. Follow the numbers and you'll find who's the elder. The phony going to say it, but ask him how long you've been around to say what you're saying. How long you've been around. You can't speak for that. You can't speak easy because you ain't been around 4,000 years. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Another person passed away, they've been gone 250 years. It's obvious if they got some, you know, creation, seed, sons, they of 200 years. If you ain't even know your father, man, how you gonna tell me you worth something? And see, that's why I look at things now, man. These genocide, was this genocide, generation gaps, you know? Mm. That's why I always feel like something missing, even in a child's life, it is. It's that one vertebrae in there called daddy or dad or pops or father. That's what's missing. And we got to coach them. We got to coach these babies, girl or boy. We got to coach them because they have, it's like prosthetics. The coach can get in there and mm -hmm. be like a daddy. Mm -hmm. Can be like a dad. Can be like a pops. Can be like a father. Because mm -hmm. God will be the one that's fulfilling the child. But the child needs time. So it so, the, so like I'm saying, it's, just, it's not a superficial thing. Superficial thing is when somebody say they're going to be there and not be there. It could be the man that actually created the child. I'm just holding on. I got this last deal I got to do. You know, he in, the, he in the roof. He in the house, but he not in the home. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, I know exactly what you're saying. That fuck shit I... is powerful when he's there, but he's in his office. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. And the time goes by. Yep. He come out of his office two years later after he's hibernate. Woo, we made it big. Then his son walk up to him and say, what's up, dad? What's up, you call me daddy. No, no, no. I'm 13 years old now. That shit was like, go that fast. Feel, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, man, it's cold peace. But this is the kind of stuff I sit around. I don't care what people sit around and think about. I don't care around and get stuck on stupid, be thinking about stupid. I, I'm not a dumb man. I sit around and think about how can I become better to attract better? How can I become better to attract? Not how can I become better to chase something? I'm my own farmer, man. My harvest is what it is. And I judge it myself. I don't have nobody judging my stuff. Then I make evaluations there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not innocent before guilty. I'm guilty before innocent because you know why? <laughs> I'm not knowledgeable. So by default, I'm guilty. It might not even be on fault type of thing, mm -hmm. but you are, but it's all, it's up to you to prove your innocence that you could be a better person on earth. It's up to you. And don't do it because of things and because of reasons and because you chasing after this chick or the chick, chick, checking out a man. I got so much of that shit, I can tell you about that shit, but that's dumb. I care about these kids because I, I was the kid. And I'm looking at myself. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Okay. I hope that you understand that. And that I hope this helps some people out there come to understand what I'm saying to you guys out there. That makes complete sense now.
Okay. So let's conclude it. Let's summarize it. I'm a fucked up father. I'm a fucked up man. Let me, let me say, no, no, listen to this. Listen to this. There's four things. Just listen to this. You, listen to this. Because in my children's life as a man, I was around daddy. Mm -hmm. I was around to be called a dad. Mm -hmm. I was around, I'm going to be around when Adam become older to call me pops. I'm definitely going to be there as his father when he leave and he, I got to talk to my father about some things, you know? Right, right, right. You feel what I'm saying? See, that's a whole other level when you go from, when you go from daddy, from, from daddy to dad to even pops. When your children come back and say, I got to go talk to my father yeah. about something. Yeah, he leave his home and say he got to go talk to his father figure. He said, I'm going to talk to my father. Yeah. And that's what I've done to come to reconcile with this. I said, I can't go talk through the pastor minister because they ain't been my daddy. They ain't been my dad. They ain't been my pops. I go talk to my father. I go straight to God. I go straight to God. God has the warranty, redemption, you know what I'm saying? Rebate, all of it. I'm going to talk to Father God. Hmm. And, I, and I don't go and repent. Why? I don't go repent. I don't go ask God for forgiveness. I thank God for understanding. Hmm. Big difference. That's how I live my life. I, you know, I don't go ask God and shall receive. I ain't received nothing. I ain't seen no... Ding dong. Here's this, you know. And McMahon showed up. May, man. I didn't never have no clearing house. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, if God gave me billions, I, I wouldn't be here. I ain't going to be like listening to a little God. Yeah. I'd create my own God in due time, right? I want to earn the badge is what I'm saying. I want to really help people. So I'm that kind of person. If you add a billion to me, you just get more of what I am. That's it. I just want to be a good person, man. That's all, I, that's all I'm trying to say at the end of the day, man. You know, I, I really love me. I really do, man, because I, I, I asked God. I didn't ask God for that. I just said, God, thank you. Because I have the understanding of what it's going to take. And it takes big love for God like me. So I got to love me. There ain't nobody big enough to love me more than I can love myself. I love exactly myself because of what God has done. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love this person because of that. I didn't love this person before that because I didn't even know what love is because I never spent no time with myself. I spent my time with the cars, the bras, the, 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 the limelight. Mm -hmm. Man, you feel like an idiot, but it's not true. It's not true, man. So I was just talking to Nicholas about this right here. And I felt like maybe it's too late for me he shouldn't have to fall for it, so maybe I should teach him this. You feel what I'm saying? Gotta start somewhere. So I just told Nicholas, just a simple thing. You make sure, because he came to me as Pops. Mm -hmm. He came to me as Pops. Go to his Uncle Sean for that daddy role, because Sean was a great dad, right? Yep. Okay, so I was, re I was very jealous of that, but when I came to realize, no, nah, that's actually a good thing, that my family may recover him. See, it just works this way. It's like a village. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. As long as it ain't no transport, no transit. Transport, yeah. You know, the men come in and out, they lie. I oh, mean, I probably did that for them because I left the, the territory open. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I can explain that. But I just told Nick, I said, listen, man, you feel like you want to leave? Okay. It's probably because something I didn't do. You see me leave. Right about that age. Right about the age he is right now mm -hmm. is when I wasn't there. The dad role. And I was like, God, give me the right thing to say because I ain't his dad. Right. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad. I, ain't, I don't have that. So Sean helped him out with that. And I was like, okay, I got to be the pops. What would the pops say? And I'm thinking like, damn. Because I called him the pops, you know? Mm-hmm. And I just kind of, you know, God just say, use your experience. You at this point have a pops, you not a pop. Use your experience. And I said, okay. Usually at this point, 
you figure out if the man that wasn't there, you figure out what not to do. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Versus you don't that person that wasn't there, you just go like, well, it still could be a learning. You should just be a mad frustrated, right? So right. I can say, well, Pops wasn't there, but that don't mean anything. I can use the what not for something that is, you know what I'm saying? I can, mm -hmm. I can be positive about it. So I just told him, I said, look, man, I explained the part of that. So he, so we can start war, working on that voided area. I can take that from my son because I don't want my son believing that that was his fault, right. you know. And now, because it is, he's utilizing it as a tool against his family. And now he won't walk off, it, you know. But he, it, it, his son's different age too. Yeah. One is calling him daddy. One is calling him dad. Yeah. I said, look, little Negro. This is what's gonna happen, straight up. I don't have much right to say it, but it's wisdom. But I didn't create it. Right. So to God, I'm gonna deliver what came to me. Your sons gonna call you daddy, they're gonna call you dad, they're gonna call you pop, they're gonna call you father. If it's the last breath in my life, I'm gonna be there for you so you could be there for them. So whatever it is, that you thinking that you got to leave your home, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure you don't leave it here first. So as pop, I can come to love you, see? Right. We, we, we can build unconditional love, unlimited. If I put the time on you, man. So all this stuff, business-wise, whatever it is, that you bird this burden you, today that burden is gone. Whether it's money, Whatever it is associated with it that you need to get to a spot where you need to be with your family here mm -hmm. before physical, I'm here for you. It's your pops. They choked up. And I could see it collapse. The voided area where mm -hmm. daddy was, dad wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Now he's calling me. Not no time, half time, hammer time, overtime. Call me all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So with that being said, man, I just, um, this is God is good. That's what I'm saying. I'm just here to say this because I ain't looking for all this following thing. I'm looking to say, look, all these damn religious words and these words they use for us to follow them. And then 50, 60 years later, the word don't even exist. Because you left the word behind and you butt naked up here. And you be blaming that on God. You got people saying, I'm an atheist. How are you old enough to be an atheist, first of all? <laughs> and you ain't 300 years old. Right. Talking about you didn't live 300 years and, and now I found out God can't do nothing. Nigga, because you ain't becoming nothing. That's why you don't believe. What, what, I ain't won the lotto, the lotto so God's not real. What, what, well, let me just wake you up for a minute. Atheist is good. Because God ain't vain. I don't need you to believe in me to exist. I want you to exist. You just saying it as backwards, but I want you to exist. But num number two is, you can't come to hate something that is not real. You can't say, I don't believe in God if God is, don't exist. So he must exist, not he, God, right? Because right? I don't want to say, well, I think God is God because I believe in me, God's real. That's what I'm saying. So God didn't create you to be looking in the mirror and be like, I don't believe in you, God. You all you saying is you don't believe in yourself. Pretty much. Because if you believed in yourself, you wouldn't have no room to say God is not real. You got an empty tank, bro. And we look in the, it's transparent when you look in the mirror. I wouldn't believe in God either. Shit, if I'm looking through the image that I'm looking in the mirror, I couldn't believe in nothing. Because you're nothing. Right. Be something. Be something, you'll start to believe. You don't have to say it. You'll be it. There it is. I'm just saying. Now, I know a lot of people going to be upset at me about that. Atheist. I don't give a damn. I use words to teach, educate, not train you. You got trainers out there. I'm just educating because I'm using my own life. I used to be the one in the mirror. I didn't say I was an atheist, but I also said I was God. See, there, there, what, what's the difference? Pretty much the same, right? Until one day, <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't solve that big old problem on your own.
Oh, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, the, the, the devil have left me hanging. Oh, spare me, you know. Oh, I don't want to be God no more. It's too, 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 too responsible, too, too hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes shit real about life, man. I ain't no joke about it. I just, I love, I love people, man. Because I love me. I ain't got no choice but love people. I ain't got no hate in me. I don't want none. I have zero hate in me. That's crazy. I don't. I don't have zero hate. I get upset. I get mad. But I get upset and mad at myself. But I ain't got no hate mm. for nobody. <laughs> this is correction. And I make mistakes. I correct them. And then I'm like, oh, man, I could do better. I could do better with that. I miss saying hi to that person. I do that a lot. Oh, my kid at the time. The, the brain said, how your kid? And then just that second where you be like, Mm, and then it go, you're like, damn, I gotta yeah. get sharp with this, man. It's telling me to do it. Yeah, my brain do that. I'll yell at H. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working or something and I get frustrated. And I'll yell at him. And then he'll walk away. And I see the look on his face. And my brain says, go apologize. Yep. Yep. Be like a dummy. Yep. And, I, and I'll go mm -hmm. in there and I'll be like, hey, hey, you know, daddy, sorry. Yep. That, you know what? That's the hardest thing to do is get out of your damn way and just go say, hey, look, I apologize. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's, it, it, it seems difficult, man, but we complicate it and make it difficult. It's not, man. All that kid needed was that. And what happens when you do that? It's all good. He all hugged, good. He all hugged me. It's like, it's all, like it never happened. We good. Man, life is good, man. I wish I can do this every day for people. But I'm out there doing it every day on this side. I ain't in front of no camera. I ain't in front of no Instagram. I'm out there doing it. Right. 27, 365. This is what I do. You don't think I do it, but I do it. Right. I'm spend more time with my kids, man. Now it's just trying to get my kids to spend more time with me. Because hey, in man. Fortnite. Man. I'm like, don't you want to go hang out? Hang out and do what? Oh, man. It <laughs> used to be like that the other day. <laughs> I said, you ain't gonna make this easy to open, are you? I'm going to ask them you gonna, what? you gonna spend time with me? What we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> he just totally sidestepped my question. It wasn't about spending time with me, what we gonna do. Yeah. So we gonna ride our bikes. What do you say? He sidestepped your question? He sidestepped my question. <laughs> what we gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, well, I'll spend time with you if we're gonna do something that I wanna do. Yeah. But, but that's true, because I'm good for that. <laughs> Come on, man, go hang out with me. Well, really, I want to be a kid myself, so I'm, I ain't going to do no sky jumper thing. I ain't going to do jump around. I might break a bone. This, this, right. this saying, it takes too long to heal. So I'm, I'm thinking, what would I want to do with my kid versus what my kid want to do with me? I don't know him enough. See, I didn't spend the time to know what their favorite chocolate, ice cream. I thought I did. But I'm really buying them what I want to buy and put it in the fridge, and then I get pissed off when they eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot about myself still, man. I'm, I'm learning so much about myself through my kids. They're just teaching me what type of man I, I could be. Like, Daddy, I got a man. It's, you know, I'll be thinking, like, okay, they call, you know, Adam, they call me Daddy. I got to be a Daddy. It's hard, man. I'm trying to think, like, okay, what is a Daddy role? That's what I be. That's why I asked the question. Cause I'm like, you just ask your kid. When you call me daddy, baby, what are you, what are you saying? Like, how can I, this man? How can I be a daddy? What do you want me to do with be daddy? I want you to go jump in the mud with your new suit. Oh no no no! Oh, Xander did me like that the other day. Let's jump off the roof. Oh hell no! But you gotta get it done some kind of way. Xander said to me. Because I check in with him. How am I doing as a dad? I'll ask them, how am I doing? But I, I learned not to ask that question while they own their iPads. <laughs> because I'm an extraordinarily yeah, right. wonderful dad when they have iPads. Yeah. That how, is that how I'm doing? Good dad, you, you're doing awesome. Right and go you. away. <laughs> go away. You interrupt my iPad time. This will be some <laughs> weird looking at this somewhere. Because you know why? It's true. Yeah. Go away. Shoot. My God, this is not easy. But you know what? If you buy me one of those 
what do you call them damn thing? Uh, Fortnite bucks, whatever they call them, bucks. Fortnite. Now run off there, give me like $15 on this little car, bring back, you're going to be the best daddy ever. And I find my stupid ass over there. <laughs> Normally, I don't hey. get down like that. Hey, but I feel myself just, what the hell happened? Yeah. That was, was too funny. quick. That was real quick. Yeah. We went camping uh, a couple weeks back. And uh, we was laying in the tent. And Xander said, Daddy, this is the best camping trip ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he said? Huh. You are a good daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that Xander <laughs> is so real with it. I just you, fell you, know, laughing, you know what, man? I got to tell you. I, I condone you. I, I, I mean, I envy you when... I learn off that. Because, you know, nephew, I love him to death. He, he come to me, man. He's so real, man. There's not a fake part of his body. So when yeah. he tell you, you are a really good daddy. He <laughs> said in a way like a mad scientist discovered... The DNA pattern of yeah. what a daddy is, and he figure out how to say it the right way. Like it come out perfect. <laughs> that was hilarious. So I I I I get what you're saying, but you are a good daddy, man. Because I watch you with your kids. You've been there all this time, man. And there's some men out there, man. You know they don't have their wife under the roof no more. There's some men like that that's yeah. raising the kids on their own, and they're gonna get the credit for it. You know, daddy, daddy. And just like the woman is not there, she you know that's mommy, but she ain't gonna get that mama, that mom, and the mother is it's not, and, and it's, it's it's horrible, right? It's 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 horrible to kind of skip those things in a child's life. So with that being said, today, hopefully this can help people kind of line up, cause ain't no instructions in the box, man. Hey, man when I'm you get a kid, you. ain't no instructions. You got to run and be like, okay, okay. The baby's born. How do I be a greatest daddy in the world? But then there's some that kind of is some natural side to it because you know you can't read everything. It's like a diagnostic test to a car. You you could do a computer, but it's that one little thing. What if a car is like 1919? Right? You ain't got no computer in it, you know. Yeah. So it is it is it is it does mix with uh, uh, what's the word for you know knowledge and then you know uh, you know experiences and then wisdom. Those things what you get. You know, you become knowledgeable when you daddy. Because you can read some things about buck ups and whatever and Google or get on Facebook, wherever it is. But then, you know, out of the knowledge come experience. It right. become applicable, it applies. Dad is different. You know, because you spend your time being something else as a man, you become now the man as a dad. You become the man as the pop. You become the man as the father. And look what you did. See how you grew up? Mm -hmm. But see... Without, you know, there's no gain without the pain of that stretching. Definitely some pain involved. Right? <sighs> man, I can man, I can talk about so many things that if that was there, I would have been like, damn. It would have been a lot easier. It wouldn't have been so complicated. Not not that it, you, you can't cheat it because it's there. You got to earn. You know, like every every benchmark, like every yard, you still got to run through the opposition. You know, otherwise it's practice. Right. You know, but it's a real world out there missing, man. They don't know. I never, ever heard it put that way or even understood it. it the, the levels of being a parent. Yeah. You know how I learned some of that? Soul train. <laughs> you know where? Where they used to be on the board and kind of did the artist's name? Yeah. Oh, daddy come first. I used to have dad. Because me. Oh. Next, next, next to daddy thing, you know. I yeah. wasn't there for that one. This dad, pop, dad. Oh, let's read the dad, too. I wasn't there for that one. This is pop and father. But it's out of order. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't fake it. Because if you do, you're going to end up being a what? Phony. Phony. Whew. Phoniness. You got your deal together. It's phony as hell. Kind of steal the bash from another person to put the time in. Okay, so that's all I got to say about it. But, you know, that's out of love. I hope everybody gets something out of that. If you don't, you will.
And if you don't have will, then you won't. But I don't. I'm going to live this way. Yeah. I'm putting the time in, man. That's, that's, just, that's just the key. Put the time in.